What's going on you guys, Steven from Airsoft Tech and today I am bringing you guys the other unboxing video that I told you guys would be coming. This is from Airsplat. Again, from my last video, the uh, last unboxing video of my two newest guns, I told you guys that in this package there really isn't a whole lot of stuff so there's really not going to be you know anything really exciting or anything like that. Um, but I thought I might as well show you guys what I'm getting. So anyways, if you haven't seen my last unboxing video, I would highly recommend go checking it out because the two newest guns that I got, I can't wait to do videos for and um, I don't know. I just hear a lot of great things about them and I finally had the money saved up to go ahead and purchase them so finally I went ahead and bought them so here we go let's set the knife down let's open this bad boy up hopefully I can there we go all right so here we go air splat UPS shipping label nothing even on it all right here we go so this is their green packing paper let's see what this is this looks like my order yes it is all right, let's just take all these. You know, let's just go one by one. So here is the first item, you guys, and I actually have a lot of these. Um, it's just their air splat um, green gas. Hopefully that can focus. There we go. As you can see, um, they're like five bucks each or something like that. So they're actually pretty cheap, and um, they are pretty small though. I didn't realize how small they are. Um, they're definitely not as big as the King Arms green gas cans. Um, does it say how much is in here? Let's see. Um, I can't really tell. Uh, oh, right there. My thumb was covering it. So, four ounces. Um, I believe the King Arms are actually eight ounces. So, yeah, these are like literally half the size or they hold half the amount that the King Arms does. Or, uh, does. So, I believe two of these then are equivalent to one of the King Arm cans. So, I actually have quite a few of these, you guys. So, let's just go ahead and take all this out. You know, just take all this packing paper out. There we go. Oh, there is the other item that I told you guys would be a fail. Uh, but anyways, if you haven't seen that unboxing video, you wouldn't really know what I'm talking about. But here we go. Let's just take all this stuff out. All right, let's move the box. There we go. All right, everything's going to start rolling. So I'll do this fast. There we go. So I got five cans of this um, Air Splat Green Gas as well as the um, this flash hider for a certain gun and this is actually for the GHK G5 and um, I purchased this because I didn't know that the gun actually comes with one in the box so I thought you had to buy one separately and Airsplat had them separately I believe this was 25 bucks so now I have two of these because one did come in the box in my last unboxing video so I have two of these now and I believe this was like 20 25 dollars so I just wasted the money um, however there actually is a gun of mine that is in my collection that doesn't actually have a flash hider on it currently so this can go on it you know I can make the gun look more appealing however that gun I don't even use it anymore so um, but anyways again kind of frustrating but hey what are you gonna do so anyways you guys I'm actually gonna go uh, let's actually let's just uh, let's go ahead right now um, let's just go ahead and open let's just go ahead and open one of these cans right here let's actually test out the green gas on camera to make sure that these guys actually do work and that the screen gas is okay to use I've never used air splat screen gas before so I'm gonna go ahead Get my GHK G5. I'm going to fill it up with, I don't know, maybe 5, 10 BB, somewhere around there. And we're going to fill it up with this green gas on camera. We're going to load it up in the gun, and we're going to see if this feeds flawlessly and to see if all the BBs get cycled. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and get my GHK G5, and we're going to test out this air splat green gas. All right, I'm back. I have the GHK G5 magazine here. As you can see, I did go ahead and fill it up with some BBs. Um, I believe there's like 15 rounds in here, somewhere around there. It's definitely over 10. Let me get my can right here that is opened up, and we're going to see... If this actually fills, you know, correctly and see if it cycles well. So as you can see, no gas whatsoever. Let's go ahead, fill this bad boy up. One, two, three. There we go. So it was leaking at first. As you can hear, that little pop sound at the end does feel like and sound like it filled correctly. Now we're going to go ahead, do the real test, go get my GHK G5, put the magazine in the gun, and we're going to see if everything cycles well and everything just runs smoothly. So the magazine is now loaded up with green gas as well as some BBs, as you guys can see. Got my GHK G5 there with all the attachments that I unboxed in my last video. Again, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and I'll watch it. I'd greatly appreciate it. So let's go ahead, put the magazine in the gun, make sure it's in there nice and tight. There we go. We are going to pull the charging handle. As you can see, there are the BBs. Let it go. We're gonna put it on semi-automatic. And I'm just gonna hold it basically sideways, just like this, and we're gonna see if it cycles um, as it should. So here we go, ready you guys? Shot number one. There we go, looks great, feels great. All right, let's go on fully automatic, let's finish the mag, so there we go. Fully automatic, 
Here we go. One, two, three. And there it is. Got some smoke coming out of some gas leaking out there, but you know, not a big deal. As you can see, bolt locked back. All the BBs did feed flawlessly. There we go. Now we are just going to pull the charging handle back. There we go. So we are set, you guys. I was just looking at something real quick. That's why I kind of stopped talking for a second. But anyways, you guys, I'm actually really liking this, uh, you know, this air supply green gas. Doesn't look like it has any problems whatsoever. It um, is a little unfortunate that they are so small. As you can see, they're actually pretty small cans here. Again, half the size of the uh, King Arms green gas cans. However, they fed flawlessly. Um, it is a little bit harder to fill for some reason. I, I realized with the green gas cans, as long as you put the nozzle right on the fill valve, it goes in right and you know goes perfectly. It's easy, no gas, you know, spills or leaks out. This you kind of have to wiggle around and um, find that you know sweet spot, I guess you could say. So no, uh, you know, gas starts leaking out everywhere. But once you find that spot, uh, then it fills really easily. And as you can see, the gun ran smoothly. Every BB was fed perfectly. And um, overall, you know, I'm really liking these green gas cans. Again, they're like five bucks each. Not too expensive at all. Um, I'm definitely gonna be doing reviews on this GHK G5 shooting test. Absolutely loving this gun. I love it to death. Super satisfied by it. But anyways, you guys, that's going to be this unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. If you did, don't be afraid to smack that like button, you guys. I'd greatly appreciate it. But that's gonna be it for this unboxing video. So again, hopefully you enjoyed. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.